wanted to officially introduce you guys to my little puppy Lulu. Say hi. Are you gonna say hi? Are you gonna say hi? Well, don't you think that's kind of rude? No, but I, I mean like, th they're trying to meet you. They're trying to say hi. They're trying to meet you. You don't want to talk. Like, you know what, Lulu? I think that's pretty rude, don't you think? You don't think it's rude? It's either stage fright or she's a total b So I got Lulu about a year and a half ago. I've always kind of wanted my own puppy. Ever since I was a little girl, I really, really wanted a dog. So by the time I was 16, I finally got a dog. And what happened when I turned 18 was I moved out of my parents' house. So my dog was a lot happier there. Her name was Tia. So I just let her be with my parents because honestly, she was a lot happier with my parents, you know, and she kind of made them feel fulfilled. So I thought it would be best to let her live with them. As soon as I moved into my own home, I thought that's it, I need my own dog because I miss having a dog. I've had a cat before living in an apartment and I used it to fill a void because I missed my dog at my parents' house. Cats are cute, but I'm just not a cat person. As hard as I try to be, um, it just wasn't meant to be. And I've always wanted a teacup Pomeranian. Okay, I'm pretty sure a teacup Pomeranian is every girl's dream dog. I had this Instagram account I was following called Rolly Teacup Puppies. As soon as I clicked on their page and I clicked on their videos with the teacup Pomeranians, they had this cute little fur ball and they had the cutest little music in the background and I'm a sucker, they won. They had me like that. I told myself, I need, I need to get myself a Pomeranian. I did my research on this company and their office is based in Atlanta, Georgia but their puppies are all in South Korea. Now, I made sure I did my research really well. They don't believe in puppy mills or anything like that. What they do is they travel around and they find these litters of Pomeranian puppies. They pick out the runt of each litter and they bring them to their place in Korea and they basically take care of them until somebody buys them. They give them a name, kind of like a little dating profile for them. It's the cutest thing. When I saw Lulu here, her name was not Lulu, it was Lily, but she was about three months old. She was still a little too young to know her name that they gave her. And I think they just do that for their Instagram, just to kind of like show off the dog as an individual. So as soon as I saw her, I thought, oh my God, I have to convince my boyfriend to allow me to get this dog because she was pretty expensive. And I understand that there's a lot of dogs out there that don't have homes that need to be adopted. But when I see something and I want it, I get it. And I honestly, I fell in love with Lulu. As soon as I saw her on that video, I thought, man, I need to have this dog. So somehow I convinced my boyfriend that we should get this dog. And he's like, you know what? This dog is way too overpriced. And I had to explain to him that teacup Pomeranians are not cheap. Quite honestly, I want the dog. If I want the dog, I'm gonna get the dog. I did my research really, really well just to make sure that they don't scam you. Clearly, they don't scam you. So what they do is you have to put a deposit on the dog or you can pay the amount in full. I just paid the amount in full. They ship the dog in cargo to your nearest international airport. So the nearest international airport to me is Toronto. Me, my boyfriend, my mom, we drove about four hours all the way to Toronto International Airport. We waited and we waited. This guy came and he was literally rolling the dog in a cart with the crate on top of it. And that moment was so surreal to me. It was awesome. It was like picking up my baby. It was the funnest, most greatest experience I've ever had with an animal. Now, as you can see, Lulu kind of grew up. She's not as small as I thought she was going to be. That's the only thing that is kind of a downfall, but not really since I love her so much, I could care less about her size. But she's also not the same size as a normal Pomeranian. So she's kind of in between. She weighs about eight pounds, so she still kind of falls into that teacup category, anything 10 and under, I believe. But she is 
perfect. I love her so much. She was really cute at first, really small, but you don't really love the dog when you first get it. I know that sounds terrible, but you love it once you hit that six month mark, I feel. You start to get to know the dog more and then she slowly started to become part of the family. Now we just can't live without her. You know, right? We can't live without you. I love you. I love you. She totally knows what I'm saying. Hey, Lulu, I love you. You love me too? Can we kiss? <laughs> so I have the video of when we picked up Lulu and when we picked her up, it was horrible. Okay, so it is a 14 hour flight from Korea to Toronto. I believe it was 14 hours. We picked her up. She had no food inside her crate. She had some food taped on top of her crate, but none inside. And she had this bottle of water in there, kind of like a hamster bottle that was completely empty. She did a lot of number ones and number twos inside of her crate during that flight. And clearly they don't take care of the dogs in there because when we picked her up, she was kind of covered in her own feces and the pad that they have at the bottom of the crate was all soaked and drenched in her urine and her feces. But I made sure I was very prepared. I brought towels, I brought wipes, I brought every single thing that I could to clean her. finished at customs to get her to get into the country. We had a four hour drive back home. So as soon as we drove her back home, we made sure, even though we cleaned her off with the wipes, we made sure that we gave her the bath of her life because she really needed it. She was whimpering and crying. It was the cutest thing. So that's pretty much how I met Lulu over here. I named her Lulu because in Arabic, Lulu actually means pearl. So I figured a pearl is small, it's round, it's white, just like her. So Lulu it was. And that's how I met my baby. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you check out Rolly Teacup Puppies. Uh, definitely on the higher side of pricing, but I honestly don't care. If I see something and I want it, I'm gonna go get it because I am a go-getter and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Bye models.